So next we're gonna work on our rosemary garlic chicken. Now, cooking chicken or any protein is okay doing it traditionally on a stove top or whatnot, but cooking on an induction makes it really simple. The reason being is because with induction, you get even cooking. Uh, you can control the temperature and it comes to temperature very fast. So what I'm gonna do first is actually make our marinade for our chicken. Real simple again, fresh garlic, a fresh sprig of rosemary. We're gonna just gonna start with a, a real quick chop of this. So with rosemary, all you have to do is pull it off the stem here, and we're gonna take our garlic, and we're going to chop it up. And the best way to chop up the garlic is actually take your garlic and bring it to the bottom of the board. I'm gonna place my knife on top of the garlic, and then I'm just gonna smash it with my hand. It's gonna make a nice flat piece of garlic, and then you just chop it up. And then what I'm gonna do is take my rosemary, and I'm gonna chop up my rosemary with this as well. Be careful, because the rosemary tends to jump all over the place. So if you wanna keep it from jumping all over the place, then just add it in with your garlic, and you can chop those together. I'm gonna take my garlic and my rosemary, we're gonna throw that in there, and then we're just gonna toss this around. So next I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna marinate it real quick so that I don't create any cross-contamination. I have my chicken here, and this is completely dry. That's another secret to cooking great meat. Make sure it's really dry, because if you put a wet piece of meat into a hot pan, you're gonna end up steaming your meat from all the extra liquid. So make sure your piece of meat is nice and dry. And then we're just gonna toss this around to make sure everything is evenly coated. So toss your garlic, your rosemary, everything here is evenly marinated. And then, right before you cook it, add salt and pepper. You never wanna add salt and pepper too early because salt naturally brings out the moisture, so you might actually dry out your meat. So always season your meat right before you cook it. Next, what I'm gonna do is take my chicken that's actually close to room temperature. Here's the secret for searing. Never cook a cold piece of meat. Make sure your meat is room temperature. What I'm saying is don't leave your chicken out for four days. I'm saying take it out maybe half an hour before you start cooking it so the heat, the temperature can move to the middle of it much faster and your piece of chicken stays juicier. So here's the secret of the induction. This pan here is cold, right? Cold cooktop, cold pan. Now I'm gonna take some olive oil, coat just the bottom of the pan. So now what I'm gonna do is turn my heat on. We're gonna turn this on to high. I'm gonna heat my oil up until it barely smokes. You don't wanna burn your oil, so don't let it burn too long, just until it barely smokes. And then I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna place it in the pan, and I'm gonna make sure that I place this chicken in my pan away from myself so that the oil doesn't splatter back onto me. And you're gonna place all pieces of chicken in there, and don't move them around. You wanna leave them in their place. If you move them around, then the chicken's gonna actually stick. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this once it's seared and we're gonna flip it over. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this in the oven. We're gonna finish our Brussels sprouts first. We're gonna take our Brussels sprouts that we mixed up earlier and we're gonna put these in our baking dish here with our lemon. That's gonna be our garnish at the end. And we're just gonna spread these out evenly. Make sure they're not in a big pile because then all they'll end up doing is steaming. You actually wanna make sure they roast. So one nice even layer in the pan. Then I'm gonna throw this in the oven real quick. 